We had each brought some music to share. There were five of us in the group. So we began with a song that celebrated um, the sort of mystical experience that we can find in human loving relationships. And then we honed in on one very special human relationship and a song that had a very potent meaning for one person. Um, we then moved on to a song that captured experiences of older people at the end of their lives and that had been written as a result of interviewing people in a, an old people's home and sort of putting some of that into song. And it sounds morbid, but it was a very joyful song really about, uh, what was the chorus, I'm not ready to die, but I'm about to fly or something. I'm, dying, I'm, ready, to fly. I'm ready to fly. So it was a sort of, you know, at that brink of of death and moving on to whatever... Uh, I think it brought out hope. It, made, it, it, it was a very positive It was a positive song. Yeah, yeah. And we followed that with uh, a piece from The Dream of Gerontius, which is very much, you know, the bit about passing through death. <laughs> so, uh, And then we ended with a song that was a, a reminder to us about, you know, the importance to us of the ones we love, you know, and of, of, of not taking the, the love and friendship of those around us for granted. Maybe you've had that experience where you're writing or perhaps composing music or doing something creative and you shift from that experience of you doing something to something happening through you. And so what we were trying to do in some rather fun, enjoyable, creative, playful ways uh, is to uh, allow that to happen, that process to happen, where the, the writing simply happens. We began with the first exercise, which was put pen to paper and don't stop writing for five minutes. Stream of consciousness, try not to lift your pen from the paper for five minutes. Nobody's going to read it. Don't worry about grammar, spelling mistakes, just write. <clears throat> that was the warm-up. And then the next uh, exercise was uh, to look at a quality of life, like uh, love or anger or uh, loneliness or depression or ecstasy or pleasure, or whatever quality you land on, and write about that quality as if it were a person sitting next to you in a room, as if it were your neighbor or a colleague at work. Uh, what, what would that quality look like? What kind of clothes would they wear? What, uh, what sort of characteristics would describe that quality? And then the last exercise we did, um, I put uh, f uh, five or six evocative photographs of people on a table and invited people to come and look at the photograph, pick one, and then tell us about that person. What's their name? What's their history? What's going on in their life? What are they looking forward to? That kind of thing. This section here is, is meant to represent eyes, all right? Because the eyes are the way we look at the world, and we felt that this weekend we've been, we've been um, reflecting, thinking, looking at our faith together in maybe a different way. So those eyes are there of the world, looking at the world. This is, this is seriously frightening, this is. <laughs> and, and there. But all, actually, when we put them there, we also realized that, you know, with our, we had such skill, they looked like fish as well, <laughs> which is actually a, a good, you know, we've got yeah. Christian symbolism. Yeah, right. So, you know, there was divine help. <laughs> all along the way, you know, we do we do acknowledge that. <laughs> and then um, the stones here, they might not look like stones, we had great trouble, technical difficulties here, we didn't have the right materials. Um, but these are the stones which on the first evening we put our stones in the water and we felt that that reflected that aspect and we hope Fiona doesn't mind that we punched all our beautiful little things there. It was far less a group activity, it was more like individuals going off, on, going off on, on their own and seeing what they could see. And some of us saw the same things, but maybe saw the same things slightly differently. And I have to say, the best photographs on you certainly belong to Catherine. She is, the, her eye is, is excellent. So we'll just show you a, a clip of... Whilst you were all busy, yes, 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 this afternoon doing all your things, we were just wa wandering around outside, and all these were taken then, so... <laughs> <laughs> 